Hi, are you thinking about moving to Seattle, Washington, or maybe Auburn? Well, in today's video, we are gonna be going through the pros and the cons about living in this amazing town. Um, Auburn is located about 26 miles southeast of Seattle, about 14 miles from Tacoma. It's got lakes, it's got rivers, it's got mountains nearby, lots of fun. But again, there's always gonna be some downsides to anywhere you move. So um, if that's of interest to you, stick around, let's get into it. Hi, if this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know about moving to Seattle or the areas around it, like Auburn, then subscribe to my channel and tap that bell for notifications so that you can be the first to learn about the current market in Seattle, Washington. Hi, I am Kelsey Anderson and we get contacted all the time from people just like you looking to make their move to Seattle and the suburbs around it and we love it. So whether you're looking to move now or in a little while, look at the description below for all the information um, so that we can help you make that smooth move to Seattle. Now, let's get after it. As I was saying, there are definitely pros and cons of moving anywhere. So if you wanna know about uh, moving to Auburn, um, you might know some things about the surrounding areas like Seattle or Tacoma, but you may not know much about Auburn. Auburn is a suburban, a town 26 miles from Seattle, 14 miles from Tacoma, as I said. Um, it's only about 10 miles from SeaTac Airport, which is pretty handy if you are someone who has to travel for work. Um, it's 85,000 uh, population. And uh, according to niche.com, it gets an overall rating of a B minus. So um, some great things that um, niche.com has good ratings for is uh, the diversity, um, lots of diversity in the town of Auburn, um, and also tons of outdoor recreation. Obviously, huge draw to the Northwest is that outdoor recreation, and Auburn does not fall short in the type of outdoor amenities that it offers. The negative um, scores in from, from niche.com are definitely crime, which is it's higher than the national average, but it's mainly from kind of petty crimes, um, not really big time high level crimes. It's just a lot of sort of petty theft, and that's gonna be closer to the inner parts of the city rather than probably the suburbs where most people are buying homes. Um, the other lower rating is in the cost of living just because it is higher than the national average, um, but we're gonna get into that. Right now, we're gonna start with the pros. So the number one pro of living in Auburn, Washington um, is the affordable housing. So if you compare it to other nearby towns, you've got Kent just to the north of Auburn um, and the Kent median home value is 596. The Renton is 676,000, which is just north of Kent. Seattle, right? the closest major, major city is, has a median home price of 824,000. So if you look at those numbers and then you compare it to the average median price of homes in Auburn, it's only 568,000. So you are getting a better price point um, than some of these other neighboring towns, especially the big city, Seattle, close by. Um, it is still, however, higher than the national average, which is 338,000. Um, so something to think about, but if you want to more, um, if you want to take your money a little bit further, move a little bit outside of the city, then Auburn might be the place for you. The other thing to add with that is that you definitely have a lot of newer neighborhoods coming in because the population um, in Auburn has grown greatly, especially since 2020. So you've got those newer neighborhoods. If you're looking for that newer build, of course, you're not going to have as established neighborhoods. So the lots may be a little bit smaller. You're not going to have those old growth trees, uh, but you will have those updated homes, um, just maybe not as big of a yard. Consequently, you also have lots of um, homes and neighborhoods that do have larger properties, um, older growth homes, more established neighborhoods, things like that. With that, you're going to have homes that have been redone, remodeled, up with the times, and then you'll also have the homes that are 
waiting for someone to come in with their personal touch. So you got a little bit of everything just because Auburn is such a major city. Um, and in another video, I'll go over the different neighborhoods of Auburn so you can kind of get to know the little niches, like neighborhoods and kind of how they're different. Um, but we'll get into that in another video. The number two pro of living in Auburn, Washington is the outdoor recreation. So it is known as the gateway of Mount Rainier. That is sort of a slogan in Auburn. Um, it's right at the base of Mount Rainier. You can see Mount Rainier from many parts of Auburn. Um, and it truly is just a natural beauty. Driving through Auburn, you come across tons of lakes and rivers sort of sprinkled throughout, going north, going south. If you uh, see my map video on Auburn, you will just see how much water is near Auburn. Um, and that can be a huge draw for people, um, especially in these hotter summer months. It's getting a lot harder in the Seattle area. And so having that water nearby is definitely a perk. Um, in Auburn, there are 33 finished parks and 26 miles of trails for walkers, runners, and bikers. In the southeast part of Auburn, you will see Lake Taps. Lake Taps is a hugely popular lake. Um, a lot of Bonnie Lake is a part um, of the town around Lake Taps, but Auburn definitely has its border with Lake Taps as well. If you are into paddle boarding or kayaking or inner tubing or just boating in general, Lake Taps is a great uh, place to visit um, in Auburn. It is also only 50 minutes to Snoqualmie Pass. So if you are a skier or a snowboarder um, or even you wanna tube Snoqualmie River, float the river in the summer months, um, you've got that big time fun with only within an hour of driving. So those are all really great um, parts about the recreation near Auburn, Washington. The third pro of living in Auburn, Washington is the great transportation connection. So not only do you have awesome highways like 167 running north to south connecting to 405 and also I-5, but also you have Highway 18 running east to west that will connect from I-5 all the way up to 90 if you're trying to go east. So you've got lots of great highways. Um, it's going to help you get to all other places nearby, but also you've got the great Sounder commute um, so that those train stations will take you into the city, um, both north and south, and that is awesome. Um, so if you need to get into Seattle for work um, and you don't want to deal with the traffic, which we're going to get into a little bit later in this video, um, having that Sounder commuter train is a great way to get into the city fast. And those highways are a wonderful way to get to other places fast because, you know, we know the back roads take a long time. So it's nice to have good highways through your town. Number four pro, Auburn, Washington, it's known for its diverse community. We're going to get into the breakdown of the kids in schools um, and you're going to see that breakdown. There's just not a there's not one type of culture that takes over the whole community. You see people from all walks of life, all skin colors, all cultural backgrounds coming together in one place. And that is part of what makes Auburn such a great place to live. Um, you have amazing restaurants um, that really reflect all this cultural diversity. You've got festivals, events, all types of things um, that really celebrate this diverse community. You've got a hibachi buffet that has amazing, amazing Asian food, Rio Blanca. Um, you've got tons of awesome sushi like Sushi Konami. There's Greek food, there's Thai food, there's Chinese, there's American, you name it. There is lots of restaurants that reflect all the different cultures and communities that come together to live in Auburn, Washington. Number five, my final pro, and it kind of goes along with that diverse community, but it has a really strong sense of community. So there's a veterans parade. There is um, even a program called Rec and Roll, which is a mobile recreation program for kids and families. It's totally free. Um, it's like all in tons of neighborhoods throughout the whole summer. They've got events um, and it just brings kids and families from the community to come. And they basically come coming from a grant. 
they just started this program bringing this recreation to families in nearby parks. So really cool way for the families and the communities to come together. Um, residents of Auburn just sort of report this family sort of tight knit community feel. I think it's programs like this that sort of foster that environment. Um, there are also Hops and Crops. It's a music and beer festival coming later in September. There's farmers markets, other community gatherings. Um, the downtown area, just driving through downtown, you get that feeling of, um, of just like family and community. And um, it just feels like it would be a great place to set your roots down if other parts about Auburn are your style. All right, so along with all the pros in any town, you're also gonna have, of course, the negatives, the cons that we need to consider. So the first con I wanna mention is the traffic congestion. So if you are someone that does need to commute into Seattle, we talked about if there's no traffic at only 26 miles from that big city, you're looking at a just about 30, 35 minute commute. But if it's time for traffic, if you have a nine to five job and you are leaving at eight, nine, even earlier, maybe seven or 8 a.m. and coming back at that three, four, 5 p.m. range, you are going to hit traffic. It can possibly take an entire hour or even more, um, if depending on where you're going in Seattle and where exactly you're located in Auburn, uh, to get to that major city of Seattle. Um, Tacoma is a little bit closer. It's only 14 miles away, um, but you're gonna maybe hit traffic on I-5. So. 167, which runs north to south in Auburn, can get pretty congested. Um, so that is something to think about if you have to commute for work. This leads me to my next con, which is that there are limited job opportunities in Auburn. So many people are commuting to those larger um, cities if they're not able to work from home. Um, it does have a growing economy, but there's just not that many jobs. There is a 7% unemployment rate, which is a little bit higher than the national average of 6%, but there's an upward trend of jobs. So if you're thinking about maybe moving to Auburn in the future, there are going to be more jobs available. Jobs in Auburn are expected to grow 37% over the next 10 years. I think that's pretty hopeful for folks um, if you would like to have a job in Auburn and you don't want to have to commute along those highways to get to a major city. $57,000 is the average salary if you're working in Auburn. My third con is something that's not a stranger to the Northwest. If you're familiar with the weather, there are a lot of rainy and gray days. Now, much to people's surprise, Seattle area is not the rainiest city. Um, it doesn't even make the top 10 list of rainiest cities in the US, not even close. But it is considered by many different news sources the grayest city. So we actually have 226 days of gray weather in the Seattle area. Um, and that could just mean clouds a little bit of the day. It doesn't mean it's the whole day is gray, um, but that can be a negative for people that are used to that sunny weather. Another pro with that con though, is that there's no big natural disasters in the Seattle area other than maybe a earthquake here and there, but we haven't seen an earthquake in a big earthquake in over 20 years. So if you are someone that is avoiding huge natural disasters like um, wildfires or twisters, tornadoes, hurricanes, things like that, um, we're pretty protected over here on the west side of the Cascade Mountains. The ocean really helps. Um, and I don't know, we just don't get really bad natural disasters. So if you can handle gray days, um, and you're not wanting those really big, scary storms, then Auburn, Washington might be a place that you will feel a little bit less uh, nervous about big disasters affecting your family and community. Another con of living in Auburn, Washington is there is limited nighttime entertainment. Because this is not a major city, um, there are gonna be events. You've got the Muckleshoot Casino, you've got Emerald Downs, you've got the White River Amphitheater for concerts, you've got Pacific Raceways right outside of Auburn for a car racing. Um, but other than those types of places, you don't have a lot of sort of like nightlife that you'd consider in a big town like Seattle. So you might have to travel into the city if you are interested 
um, in that sort of vibrant city life. Auburn is a suburb town. It does have a downtown. It does have events and festivals, as I mentioned, um, but you're not talking about a huge thriving nightlife. There are art galleries, museums, historical buildings, things like that. There's, there's plays and other sort of performing arts. But again, if you're really into that um, type of activities at night, you're going to want to go into the city for that. So that could be a drawback if you are really interested in that. My last and final con of living in Auburn, Washington is the school system. And not to say that the schools are necessarily bad in Auburn because they're not. They're just really varied. So depending on what schools you go to, what neighborhoods you live close by, ratings are going to be a little bit higher or a little bit lower. Overall, the school system is definitely not bad. Niche.com actually gives it an overall score of B+, but it's only in my con category because there's just varied scores. Um, and I'm going to get a little bit more into the details. So there are four high schools that are in um, serving Auburn residents. One of those high schools is Thomas Jefferson High School, and that's actually in the Federal Way School District. But the other three high schools are in the Auburn School District, um, serving Auburn residents. There are also six middle schools and then a bunch of elementary schools sprinkled throughout, combination of public schools, private schools, and other type of specialty schools for the little ones. The average graduation rate from high school is 83%. 56% um, of kids are passing reading assessments with 47% passing math assessments. The average SAT score is 1130 and the average ACT score is 27. 54% of students in the Auburn School District qualify for free and reduced lunch. There are just fewer than 18,000 students in the Auburn School District. There's a 20 to 1 student to teacher ratio, and they spend $23,000 on each kid. One of the best things about the school district in Auburn, just like the town itself, is the immense diversity that makes up the student body. Um, it gets an A plus in diversity by niche.com. So 33% of the students are of Hispanic descent, 30% are white, 13% are Asian, 9% are multicultural, 8% are African American, and 6% is Pacific Islander. So as you can see, lots of different um, cultural backgrounds, races, you name it, come together and are make up the bodies of these schools, which can be really helpful for students because kids are going to see that everyone is different. Um, you have some people that look just like you and lots of people that don't look like you. And many families find that that builds a really good sense of community um, and people are able to see themselves in their classmates, but also be interested in um, just learning about different cultural backgrounds and communities and learning about people that are different than themselves. So I think most people would agree that's a pretty positive thing um, because no matter what your cultural background is of your family, you're going to find people to easily fit in with and you're going to learn about a lot of other kids too. Um, I want to point you to one graphic that is going to show the different scores I'm talking about as we look at a map of the Auburn School District. So if you look at the Auburn School District, it does span out a little bit beyond the boundaries of the Auburn city. So you will see it extends all the way to Black Diamond near Highway 169. Um, and so if we take a peek at the scores, we talked about South Lakeland being... Um, that's one neighborhood. You'll I go into detail about the different neighborhoods in a different video, but... On the south side, you see a lot of A minuses and B pluses. That's in the South Lakeland area, getting close to Lake Taps. And then the downtown area of Renton, which is right here, sorry, in the downtown area of Auburn, you'll see scores in the B and C range. Closer to Lakeland North, you see a score of B plus that is like in the West Hill, so pretty good. Um, and then in Lee Hill, which is um, on the Northeast part of Auburn, you have scores again in the 
C plus to B minus range. So depending on where your family will be relocating, um, you're going to have different scores. And so that's why it is a con just because there is varied um, results on exams. And so that is something to take into consideration when deciding where you want to live. Overall, I think it's awesome that there is such great diversity in the schools. I think that makes up for really anything else because you can't learn about other people if you're not or surrounded by other people, people that look different than you, have different families than you. And I personally think that's really awesome. So huge plus for me. Um, and again, overall school rating uh, from niche.com is a B plus. So that's really not bad if you're comparing it to other districts um, in the country. So that's all I have today. I hope you got some value from the pros and cons of living in Auburn. Uh, please check out my other videos to learn more about Auburn, especially if you're thinking about moving here um, or check out some of my other videos about other places as well. So hope this was of value to you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and tap that bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market here in Seattle. It has been my pleasure talking with you today and let's hopefully I'll see you around town. See you later.